So I found eight legit Amazon work from home jobs where you can easily make money online. And some of them you can even get paid as soon as today. And the best thing is towards the end, I'm going to reveal some where you can actually make up to six figures per year with. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the first one, which is low content book publishing. Now you might be thinking, Shane, I'm sorry, I can't write books. But in this particular case, you actually don't have to write anything because low content book publishing is all about creating things like journals, planners, coloring books, and calendars. And it's actually extremely easy to create and people will buy your low content books based off of your design. So for instance, you could go and create a design that resonates with people like you. So for instance, if you are a fan of MMA, you could create a design around that. If you're a fan of chess, same thing. I think you get the picture. And there's actually websites like Canva that will allow you to do this very easily. You do not have to be a graphic designer with a ton of artistic talent. And there are single low content books that sell over 20,000 copies per month, which means whoever created that book is getting royalties of $30,000 per month. And that's just from one single low content book. Imagine if you had a few hundred of them out there. This one gets an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next one on the list you've probably never heard of, and that's going to be an Amazon video reviewer. And this is where not only do you leave reviews on products, but you actually leave video reviews. So it's almost like doing an unboxing video, except instead of posting it onto YouTube, you can post it onto Amazon. So if somebody watches your video for more than 30 seconds, and then they decide to buy the product, you will actually get a small commission from that sale. So Amazon is very hush hush about exactly how much they pay for these types of programs. But there are many reviews online of people who say that they earn on average about $10 per month per review. So that's about $120 per year per video that you create. And it's almost like a little piece of real estate that you have on the internet that's going to be giving you $120 every single year. And these things typically last a very long time because if it gets really popular, people are going to be buying these same products probably for 5, 10, maybe even 15 years. So if you do 300 product reviews, that would be about $3,000 per month. And that would be relatively passive income that's going to be coming in for a very long period of time. Now, this is a massive, massive opportunity right now that most people watching this are probably like, ah, that's not going to work for me. And that's the problem is when these things are at the point where they're a huge opportunity, most people ignore them. And that's why I am telling you guys about this right now so that you can't say, oh, I didn't hear about it until it was too late. Because there's a lot of other things out there like Amazon FBA or Shopify that are relatively saturated now. But in the early days, it was very easy to make money. And you can sign up for this by going to the Amazon Influencer Program. And by the way, a lot of the time people actually appreciate reviews that are lower quality because they seem more genuine and authentic. If you have a super expensive camera set up, it comes across as a little bit too generic. So you can literally start recording these reviews with your phone. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one that's actually a job at Amazon. And it's something that would be a full time 40 hours a week sort of thing. And that's going to be an Amazon customer service associate. Now you can work directly for Amazon as a customer service associate, or you can work for the people who work with Amazon, aka Amazon FBA sellers. Now if you work directly for Amazon, the average is about $15 and 42 cents per hour. And if you want to apply, you just have to read the Amazon customer service associate application guide. If you want to apply to an individual Amazon FBA seller, you'll have to contact them via email. Now, a lot of people rag on customer service. And to be fair, it's probably not something you want to do your whole career. But this is a great first job or first couple jobs to get into. And it is one of the easiest ways that you can get a remote job where you can get paid right off the bat. And you can actually learn a lot from working in customer service. This one gets an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one's going to be great for you if you have a little bit of free time here and there, but you don't have enough time for a full time or part time job. And that is going to be Amazon Mechanical Turk. And this is one where you can literally do little micro tasks if you're having a bored moment in class, or if you're on your lunch break, or if you're having an appointment with nature. So there is lots of different tasks you can do. And they can range from anywhere from data entry to content moderation to editing. And when you dig into the most popular forums about side hustles online, this is one of the most popular ones. This is one that tons of people make money from. Now there's tons of different reviews online, people saying that they're making like 50, $60 per day. And there's lots of different reports of people making anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars in extra money per month. So yeah, this is a very solid one. If you just have a few extra minutes here and there, you want to make some extra money. This one gets an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be great for you if you enjoy writing and that's going to be Amazon book publishing. Now there's several different ways you can do this. You can actually publish physical books 
ebooks, or you can do Kindle Direct Publishing. And this is where you just publish ebooks that people can download on Kindle. Probably best to start off with Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP. And if it gets really popular, then you can turn it into a physical book. And for each one of these books, you get paid about 70% of the royalties. And the best thing is you don't have to worry about printing or publishing or anything like that. Amazon takes care of all of it for you. So if you sell 100 books per month at $2.99 each, you'll get paid around $210. And there are people who have made millions and millions of dollars doing this. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret here. Best way to make money with Kindle Direct Publishing is not to make money from the books themselves. Yes, it's good to make money from the books, but the best way to make money is by collecting people's email addresses, which you can do a call to action within the book. And then when you have their email addresses, especially when you know they're very interested in a particular niche, then you can sell them other products. And the name of the game here is to get as specific as possible. And a few weeks ago, I was actually talking with a business broker, his name's Joe, and he owns the company Empire Flippers. And he told me that his number one opportunity now for people who are brand new to entrepreneurship is Kindle Direct Publishing. And I was kind of surprised by that. But when you think about the ability to sell people other stuff, when you know that they're interested in a certain subject, it makes total sense. But overall, to be fair, this is a bit of a saturated market. It's not super easy to get into. And you do have to have pretty good writing skills. So this is more of a business rather than a side hustle. So I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be great for you if you're a fan of clothes and design. And that, of course, is going to be merch by Amazon. And this is a print on demand service that allows you to design and sell custom apparel. And these are things like t-shirts and hoodies. And the coolest thing about this is you don't have to risk any of your money. You make the design, you put it up on there, and they will only create it if people order it and pay for it. I'm going to need some money up front. So with traditional clothing businesses, you had to risk a ton of time, effort, and money. And if people didn't like it, you were kind of shit out of luck. But Merch by Amazon takes all of the risk out of it. Now, typically you earn about 13% of the product that you sell, which is pretty good when it comes to physical products. So this is another one where it could be a pretty decent side hustle. You could even turn it into a full-time business, but it's pretty hard to get noticed. It is relatively saturated and it's probably not something you're going to make money with right away. So for that reason, I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one of my absolute favorite side hustle slash business models. And that is going to be affiliate marketing. And in this particular case, it's going to be Amazon affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is basically where you get a percentage of everything that you sell. And you can actually partner with Amazon. And if you're able to sell, let's say like a chair, like I did a review on this chair, and then somebody bought it, I would get a percentage of that sale. And depending on what you're selling, the percentages are usually somewhere between one and five to 10%. Now, the reason affiliate marketing gets a little bit of a bad rap is because on its own, it's no good. You have to pair it with another skill. So for instance, you need to learn affiliate marketing and content creation or affiliate marketing and paid advertising. But if you're able to pair it with another skill, this is one of the easiest and best business models you can possibly get into. So one of the most common ways that people do this, for instance, is just making YouTube videos and then leaving affiliate links in the description or creating websites that are dedicated to reviewing products and then leaving affiliate links to those products. So yeah, I absolutely love affiliate marketing. Amazon affiliate marketing is a great way to get started. You should probably branch off of Amazon and do other types of affiliate marketing once you're used to it. But this one gets a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one where you can make not just six figures a year, but you could potentially make seven figures per year and that is going to be Amazon FBA. And Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, and this is where you become a partner. And so essentially you can pick and source products and then sell them on Amazon, and Amazon does all of the delivery and the shipment and most of the fulfillment. And they even do a lot of the marketing for you as well. So they take care of like 60 to 80% of all the problems that you'd normally have to deal with if you got into the e-commerce or physical product business. So Amazon FBA has probably created hundreds of thousands of millionaires by now, now. I'm rich. It is incredibly saturated. It's not easy to get into. And this is a full blown business. This isn't something you can just do as a little side hustle type thing. So if you're looking for some part time money or some side hustle money or some side job money, this is not going to be the one for you. So with Amazon FBA, probably less than 1% of people end up being successful with it. But those who are successful make way more than you can make in a normal job. Now, by the way, if you want to get jobs where you can make six figures a year, and it's not something you have to rely on luck for, I'll actually go ahead and put a bunch 
bunch of links down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to some of my favorite resources. And these are resources where I've actually done interviews with people who have taken these different programs on the channel. So it's completely legit. I made sure to vet it. And you can check that out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But yeah, Amazon FBA, more of a business type thing. I'll go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. I also made a great video on the best entry level jobs. If you're somebody who's trying to get into a really good career path, I made a tier list where I ranked them from S tier, which is the best to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.